What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. So my boy and I started uh, polishing or paint correcting the car last night, but uh, we probably ran out of rags. So we are locked and loaded. Let's get this thing uncovered and show you what we've done so far. So he's gonna pull that off. So this is what we've done so far. You can see that already. And this is just uh, two stages of a four stage process that we're doing. But uh, yeah, it's turning out pretty dang good. I mean, there's still some imperfections, but like I said, this is only half of the steps. So yeah, we're gonna get this thing uh, uncovered here and get the rest of it taped up and we'll polish. And by no means am I an uh, auto detail professional. I just know a little bit about a, a, I just know a little bit about a lot, if that makes any sense. So I know enough to get me by. I couldn't do it professionally, but um, yeah, we're gonna do this. So stay tuned. Push record. It's not supposed to be too sticky. good though. What? Where did I leave off? That quarter, right? Yeah.
if you guys are wondering what I'm using, I'm using a uh, 3D1 or 1-3D, I don't know what the heck it's called, but it's a hybrid compound and polish all in one. Absolutely incredible. So this one polish works with all four pads. So you don't have to switch to several different polishes. And I'm using a, uh, I don't know how that you say that, Bataka. Yeah, let's go with Bataka <laughs> uh, from Amazon. Wicked nice polisher. Like I, we just got this in the mail the other day. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm really impressed with this thing so far. It's doing a great job as you can see. It's, it's reviving this 32 year old paint like nothing. So yeah, that's what we're using here. Coming pretty dang good, eh? Yeah. That looks good. Just, it sucks that uh, polishing it really brought this out, but whatever. Let's see what that guy said about that. Yeah, looking really good. The lighting in here is absolutely terrible. It looks so much better in person than on camera. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, right? Looking through the camera. You can still see it shines. So. Yeah, the back is terrible on yeah. the camera. Like, it doesn't look right. Oh, yeah. I think that's because that's right where the light is, maybe. I don't know. Oh, it looks better if you move the camera. So we're gonna go maroon on the trunk, I think. Yeah. Maroon pad, and let's see, I, cause this is a, that's a pretty heavy cut. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this can survive it. And make sure you're turning your bag frequently. Well, let's try this new spot. I don't know if this is gonna pick this up, just how bad this deck lid is. Yeah, for the most part it does. I'll try to do half. Let's see. Definitely better. Way better. Not Way as foggy. Better. No. Used to be fog in it. 
That was not as much. Still a little bit cloudy. After many many hours I've got probably three quarters of the car done so I've got to do the front bumper <laughs> the front bumper and the roof the uh, rear bumper and the sides and everything are done I'd call them I mean, they can use some finessing here and there there's still some wax here clearly but this is all like I don't know what's going on with this I don't know if you can see how bad that paint is there it is awful. So I'm going to try to wet sand that. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm more or less just trying to make it look decent. So yeah, it's, uh, I'd say it looks pretty dang decent. I have to do the bottom, the rockers. I like to do that last in case there's crap or debris in there. Then it doesn't uh, get lodged in my pad and cause me grief elsewhere. So yeah, you can see that's uh, coming along quite nicely. I don't know what the discoloration is here. You can see the two color diff. You can see the two different colors. I don't know what's going on. If this was replaced, I'm starting to think that front clip was replaced at some time. Whatever, we'll deal with that down the road. So yeah, now I've got to polish that out. So, it's terrible. I, I hit that yesterday when we were doing the, some initial tests just to see what it was gonna look like. But uh, yeah, check it out. Coming along real good. Can you? I hope you can. I hope the camera picks this up and does it justice because it looks absolutely incredible. You can see a little spot here where I touched on the roof. Where are we? You can see the difference. This is just with the one stage over this compared to this. I mean, look at that difference. Yeah, it's coming along good. Now I've got to get a step ladder so I can finish the roof. <laughs> That's why I haven't done it yet. So uh, whatever. So yeah, let's go down this side here. Take a look down here. Oh, it's gonna be too dark to see anything here. You get the idea. She is shiny. Yeah, you can still see there's some some wax here and there. I'm gonna have to go back and do all the edges where my polisher can't get in. I'm gonna have to do them by hand. It's not ideal, but I don't know how else to do that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Check it out. Look at. Decent clarity in there. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad.
Okay, well I'm gonna mount you back up and I'm gonna uh, clear that roof off so I can get uh, going on that roof. In case you're wondering, I am not going to tape off anything on the sunroof because the entire seal and frame and everything is getting replaced. So I'm not concerned with getting wax on it or wax polish on it and having it turn white because, well, it's all coming off anyways. So this is all I managed to do on the sides. So I did uh, three steps on the side as a trial to see how I liked it and just forgot about the very first step that I was doing. and. I got probably 90% of the results I got on the other side doing all four, but it saved probably an hour. So I'm going to try on the roof. I'm going to try just uh, two stage because I don't know, I'm tired. So it's been a few days after I uh, did some polishing, as you can probably tell from my voice. Uh, all three of my kids and myself all end up getting sick, so we've been preoccupied with that. But uh, nonetheless, paint came out decent. It's not perfect by any means, but it came out a lot better. Uh, the carpet for the car, if you remember from my previous video, there was no carpet. The carpet was folded up in the trunk, so we went ahead and pulled that out. As you'll see here, I'll throw a clip in. and. Uh, yeah, I just went ahead and gave it a shampoo. It uh, it actually came out really nice, as you can see. It's it's not again, it's not perfect, but it's hundred times better, and it'll do for what we want. So yeah, but um, yeah. So with that being said, we're gonna end this video off here. If you want to uh, be up to date with the progress we're making on this thing, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and that way you won't miss out on a thing. But um, yeah, we're going to end this off here because I'm just rambling on and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, YouTube.